Hey guys, greetings from my little desert hideaway here in Arizona. Um, I want to jump on Insta to just uh, talk a bit about creativity. I was in New York at the weekend and I was asked several questions about the challenges and complexities of, of working with and building creative teams and leading creative people. And here's a few things I want to just say that might be uh, helpful to you guys today that are either in a creative team or you're leading a creative team. I think first of all, because creative people struggle sometimes, as we all do, but creative people can have a very sensitive uh, ego um, and be very sensitive emotionally and to criticism and feedback, um, then I think sometimes you have to, as a leader of creatives, wear three hats. Some days you're the drill sergeant, some days you're the fan club president, and some days you are the therapist. <laughs> I think with all those things to creative people, I think um, sometimes the drill sergeant's job is to keep us all on task because we can get so involved in the creative side of it, we don't actually produce anything. So sometimes you're the drill sergeant keeping it all moving. Sometimes you're the fan club president making sure you cheer them on and celebrate small wins and celebrate creative contribution. And sometimes you're the therapist sitting with people, with creative people listening to their um, struggles, their disappointments, their um, non-belief in themselves, um, their feeling non-appreciated. So sometimes you're the therapist as well. If you can master those three roles as a leader of creative people, drill sergeant, fan club, president and therapist, then you will be a godsend to creative people if you can swap hats between those three roles that often leading developing creatives requires from us. I think secondly, tranquility breeds creativity is what I've discovered in life. Often it is your tranquility that is being attacked in order to um, block your creativity. So sometimes we feel our creativity has been attacked, but it is your peace, your calm, your stillness that is under threat because creativity is a byproduct of that. So if you stop being tranquil, if you lose tranquility, if you lose that inner sense of calm and stillness from which great creativity flows, then we lose a creative outcome because we didn't realize how important tranquility was to that process. So tranquility breeds creativity. So stick around things, people, situations, environments that, that make you tranquil. Stay around people, environments, mindsets, atmospheres, climates that foster in you inner calm and tranquility and stillness because that will be the best version of you with regard to creativity. So tranquility breeds creativity is what I've discovered in life. Thirdly, I want to say creativity is the opposite of helplessness. You would think power will be the opposite of helplessness but I think creativity is because creativity is the self-empowerment to create an off-ramp an exit from a sense of stuckness and helplessness even perhaps depression in life so I think creativity is a superpower creativity is the ability to to create yourself out of away from a sense of internal stuckness so creativity to me becomes the opposite and the antidote of a sense of helplessness. If you're listening to this and feel you're in a season of stuckness or helplessness in your life, um, rather than wait for it to pass or rather than hope that some somebody will come and give you a sense of empowerment or believe in you or elevate you out of your helplessness, um, then begin to be creative instead. Creativity is the off-ramp from helplessness. In so many ways, we have not figured out yet as human beings. So I want you to think about that, uh, you creative guys. And even if you don't feel you're a creative type, which brings me to my next point, which is that I believe everybody is creative. I think all humans are born creative. I think the problem is that the day you were born is the last day of freedom you'll ever have. <laughs> Because from the day you're born, people get creative on you, turning you into their idea of who they think you should be. And I think creativity is lost from our soul because our soul is dismantled from birth onwards as people, as people um, 
uh, conform us away from, um, guide us away from, put layers of compliance on us away from our creative beginnings. And so life becomes less and less creative as we age because we are so busy trying to fit in with the group, behave ourselves, not take risks, not stand out, all of which creativity asks us to do. So you are creative. The question is not, um, the question is not how creative are you? The question is how are you creative? And finally, I want to say that um, I believe creativity is our true connection to divinity. I've been around creative people in my life, all my life, been, been around in a creative environment, sitting around a table in a room with creative people where we're creating something new. Um, it, is, it is an unusual, unique sense of the presence of God, I feel, and the presence of divinity when we are when we're in a creative flow together, I think, we're, I think we are never better versions of us than when we are creative. There's something about being creative that is very much awakening in us, the divine spark in all humans that God gave us from the beginning of time to be creative, to rule over, to subdue, to replenish, to be fruitful um, in the earth was the original mandate to mankind. I think when we're creative, we are never more so um, in touch with our divine roots and beginnings and mandates than when we are creative. So there you, there you go. If this, a few things on, on being a creative person or leading creative people, be the drill sergeant, fine club president, therapist. Remember, tranquility breeds creativity. Remember, creativity, I think, is the opposite of helplessness, so it's a superpower. Remember, everyone's creative, and remember, creativity is is our greatest connection to divinity. Hope that's interesting and helpful to you guys today. Hey, drop in a, a comment about any questions you want me to jump on and speak to you about an answer like this on Instagram. Be happy to do that from time to time. All right, love you guys. Much love to you all today from my desert retreat in Arizona. <laughs>